Now, in your book, uh, you talk a lot. So you got a great book, and I've got it right here, uh, Nomad Capitalist. And you've just done a, um, you know, in addition to it, you've extended it. There's a bunch of new content. And obviously, for something like this, things are always changing. So it's great that you've got a new edition with, you know, updates and extra chapters and, and everything, which is super cool. And, and, uh, and that was, by the way, the thing. I mean, the book is not like the 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 official guide of like every passport and price. I'll be updating the thing every week. Uh, it is an entree to everything that you can do to where you get the vibe, you get the perspective, you get the stories, you get some ideas, and then you take it from there. Uh, and yes, we did recently update it. The new one has my, has my picture on the front because someone says that's what you have to do with the book is put your picture on the front. <laughs> I like it. Well, in your book, you have something called the EKG formula. Yeah. And I'd love yeah. to have you share that. Well, the idea is, you know, basically enhancing your freedom, keeping more of your wealth and then growing what you have. And so, um, you know, freedom is important. I'll tell you this. Um, I paid very little tax legally as an American when I was a U.S. citizen. So the idea of Andrew, you know, people renounce their citizenship for taxes. I was paying, I think in the last year, literally zero. But the challenge was there's a lot of restrictions, there's a lot of regulations, there's a lot of forms to file, there's a lot of reports that are made, and uh, you're subject to this and that. And you also are restricted in how you use your money. And so being able to go out and acquire more real estate to you know, enhance my lifestyle, being able to go and live in more places that enhance my freedom, uh, having a peace of mind that I wasn't going to run afoul of some form, having the peace of mind that I didn't have to be the citizen of a country that I always kind of felt weird. You know, it's like, ah, oh, here's the, here's the American. Um, that really was helping me be productive. I mean, if you look at um, my income, my net worth since leaving, I think that the weight, there's a psychological weight that was removed that helped just, you know, there's a, there's a, there's a whole perspective change that really helped. Uh, so enhancing your freedom is very important. I think for any entrepreneur or investor, it's a good thing to have. Keeping more of what you earn is pretty straightforward. We just outlined how your country is not really giving you that much more. I don't believe that you are getting much more um, in the West. You know, talk about the diplomatic corps, for example. Uh, I had a couple of team members of mine from here, Georgian citizens, come to elsewhere in Europe for a, a training we did. The ambassador drove them to the airport afterwards and like got them onto their plane. Um, I don't think the U.S. ambassador is helping you. In fact, we had a guy lose his wallet here uh, and he was like, you know, something happened and he called because he needed to get something replaced. They wouldn't even answer the phone. Wow. So why are you paying 43% for that when you could live here and pay 1%? Um, what are you getting? So keep more of what you earn. Offshore companies, you know, restructuring, um, you know, all that kind of stuff. And then growing what you have. Now, yields are down a lot of places. And if you want to use leverage, which I don't, um, then you know, the US is good for leverage, for sure, for like real estate investing. Uh, you're not going to get 95% loans in most places in the world. And interest rates aren't going to be as low in most places in the world. But you do have the potential to have much higher returns. Um, I mean, look at my portfolio this year. India has been a, 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 an outperformer. Um, Cambodia has been a very successful investment for me over the years in terms of growth, in terms of yield. Um, George has been successful. I mean, I've, I've done a lot of good deals around the world because these markets are growing. I always have the concern if I'm buying something in New York City or in Sydney or in Berlin, are they going to take my property? Are they going to increase my taxes to where it's not going to make it even feasible? Like what happened in Greece years ago with an eightfold increase in property taxes. Nobody wanted to own property. You can't sell it. They're going to restrict how you rent it out. I want to go to places where you can actually grow your money. Um, and I just don't think that's many countries in the West.